I do want you to be aware that Crime Lines and Lies is going to have Ernie up as a guest tomorrow. And she thinks that Ernie is working with the TVI. So I emailed her and explained to her that Ernie is a prolific liar. Early the next morning. I really want to say, hey, I thank you for what you all done for me. You've helped me in ways that I'll, that I'll never forget. If the doctor is correct, and I do pass within the next year or so, then I just want you to understand that I didn't go out, that I didn't go out sitting on my ass. I will return not only to the Summer Wells case, but to Sebastian Rogers as well and other missing children that are around my hometown where I grew up at. Kids just don't go missing, people. They don't just go missing. And you can damn well better guarantee this. If I show up and I come back, the Lord's will. Let's just say when I come back. These child predators will see a different kind of man. They'll see someone who stops them dead in their tracks. That I will promise you, that oath I took years and years and years ago, still in my heart, it's still with me daily, 24 is our year, is a, uh, what is it, what, what is that, KT Chicky, KT, is it KT Chicky that does the, she does the, the little clips and stuff. If you're in here, KT, I think it's KT, KT uh, Cheeky, I think it is. If you're in here, hit me up with an email, operationrock24 at gmail.com. It's on top here. I'd like to get up with you and give you uh, information as well. That way you can put it out there along with Lori. Um, I like your videos. You're a lot better than LK Kennedy's videos because you're true. You put it up there as it is. I don't ask you boast me and make a big scene out of it or nothing like that. No, no. I just ask you to be true. I went to the doctor. Uh, I got the bad news yesterday. You are tiger strong. Thank you so much. Yes, I had an appointment. It is what it is, guys. We'll learn. We learn as we go. Right? Thank you. But I do realize, hey, with YouTube, I can't do it. These lives, you don't do it through lives. Lives take your time. Lives get twisted. People can say whatever they want to. They can stream. I will not be doing a live. Fourth of July, we will not be doing a live. At 10 o'clock today, the last of my lives and on panel is done for a while. Until I, come, until I become that man I once was. So for that to happen, then it will happen. If it's not, well, it's not. Make sure you get the truth out to the people. Too many lies and clusters has already been thrown in. Make sure it's the truth. Look, if I do something wrong and you report on it, as long as it's the truth, hey, I'm good. Where is your health at right now? If you don't know, I'm about 60% if that, maybe 50, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have good health right now. It will be boring without your lives. You'll see my videos, you'll see my community posts, and we'll do things together still, folks. All the marketing, everything, all the merchandise, when and when will take over. How long will you be gone for, sir? We will miss you. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how long I'll be gone. I'm hoping it ain't that long. I'm hoping it ain't, but it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. All I ask is you keep that faith and you stay on that path, people. I'm telling you, the path, the path is short. 
We're getting ready. We're getting ready to hit a two-way street up ahead. That path is no longer. For we've completed that path. And it's time to move on, people. It's time to move on. And what we decide to move on to is bigger and better things that I can promise you. I fell off the track. I fell off the path, Rose. But I'm back where I need to be. I'm back where I need to be. But not yet became that man I once was. And that will happen eventually. Guys, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of the accomplishments. I'm 129 pounds. That's a hell of a lot better than being 114 pounds. The last month has been hell. But you know what? I have gained weight. I'm starting to gain that muscle. Am I overdoing it? I always overdo it. I always overdo it. And some of the stuff that I'm taking, it's, it's unheard of. Let's just say that. But it's there. And I got really bad news about my health. So the way I look at it, that man that you see in this photo here, that leader that you see in the photo, that's me. And I need to become that once more. That man in that photo was strong, fearless, courageous. And he had a heart. The passion that that man put forward into these missing children was something that I'm not right now. It's something that I'm, that I'm just not. But I've got to become that man once more. I'm not going to be able to do it with YouTube. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it because of these lives. These lives can be very, very toxic. Because what do they do? They stream and they throw everything in the way of their narrative. They twist it. They twist everything. Everything's twisted. Then they throw lies in with it. L.K. Kennedy, you know, I said some nice things about her. But everything she ever posts, everything she posts, but it's Tina's daughter never accused me, Kemper. See, that's Kemper there. Kemper is a very bad person. When I expose Kemper, after I beat the shit out of Kemper, I will take his phone, I will make him log See, in, and everybody. I will show you his fake accounts that he has the number of fake accounts that he actually has. And you people will see that a lot of these trolls... And how many asses have you said you was going to kick? Oh, you was going to Texas for BK. Never happened. And the list goes on and on and on. Anybody ever notice that? Everything she posts goes against me. It's something against me. No matter what I'm doing, she has to appeal to the Jimbo crowd, to the pedal lovers. And I will name that today. I will name that in front of however many thousands of people are watching because Jimbo is. I suggest, I suggest if you've got a weak heart, if you've got a weak heart, when it comes time, I will let Brooks know. You know what to do. Mute whatever you got to do. Turn it off for a second. However, because the truth will come out today. And I'm hoping Candace is in the crowd or in the bushes. And she makes her step forward. I've told Candace so many a times. Candace, you make that one step and I'll be with you for the rest. But you have to decide. And to me, for me, there is no decision. But we'll talk about that. And we'll talk about more. I don't know how long I don't know how long this live will be. I know the 10 a.m. will be my last. It will be my last live, and it will be my last time on people's panels for a while. I don't know how long that's going to be. If the doctor is correct, 
and I do pass within the next year or so, then I just want you to understand that I didn't go out, that I didn't go out sitting on my ass. I will return. I will return not only to the Summer Wells case, but to Sebastian Rogers as well and other missing children that are around my hometown where I grew up at, where I made my way, where I worked. Kids just don't go missing, people. They don't just go missing. And you can damn well better guarantee this. If I show up and I come back, the Lord's will. Let's just say when I come back. These child predators will see a different kind of man. They'll see someone who stops them dead in their tracks. That I will promise you that oath I took years and years and years ago still in my heart it's still with me daily. I ain't trying to fight with Ernie but I am mad at Ernie because Ernie's lying and he knows he's lying. Two hours later the the celebrityness of it and everything and the case of it and the what it is with the potential of the case. You remember in the interview when he said they probably got rid of the evidence and then they killed her. He was painting his own self in that picture. He was painting his own self in that picture. So the hammer thing, here's what happened. Summer hit her head when she went in the water. Mm -hmm. We all we all know that. She was already she already had her head messed up and it was cut. After Hunter left, after all that with Hunter had left, they took uh, they took some, Summer back to Don. Don was waiting at the house. That faint scream you hear that they talk about mm -hmm. was Don Wells with Summer Wells. And then again, you know, trigger warning everyone. That's when the claw of the hammer came out. And it was on that. It was at that mattress where that had taken place. The, the mattress was bare. What's under that sheet? Because if you look at it, when you look at it and it shows the, the mattress, there's like a there's like a, a sheet or a double sheet over that mattress. You see that? Yep, I'm looking. I'm looking at it right now. That's actually a sheet that held. They tried to draw the the stuff up with that. But Don, Candace said Don hit her with the hammer, the claw end of the hammer, his work hammer, as a matter of fact. And, I mean, if that's what they said, we weren't there. That's all we know. Exactly, exactly. That's all we can say, and that's all I can say about it. Because I asked, I asked Candace, and she said even the mattress, even the mattress of that, there was, you know, fragments on it. There was fragments on it. So there, there, there's a lot of speculation to this because this really made me sick. And Candace, I'm going to be honest with you. She's probably watching this, to be honest. She's probably in the bushes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this, Candace, your time really is running out. At that time, Hawkins County had the majority of it. Even though the TBI was running in assistance with it, Hawkins County was who that knows the most about it. And they had the final say. Now, let me tell you what. Kathy knows a lot. I'm going to rewind this a little bit. This is Kathy a knows exactly what happened. Kathy knows exactly what happened. Exactly to yourself what what have you done all i've done was go fishing just all i've done is stay on the ground all she's, done. she's there beside where summer's buried at what summer's buried at the damn tree by the fishing place where she used to rest up remember the picture she take she took of that tree and her back on it and everybody said something remember that mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. where i suspect summer's at at that tree because she always talked about where the red fern grows where them dogs were buried in that under that tree there she'd always talk about that now we can go from there with that speculation whatever you want to say it, it is, it is, you know, speculation right now from people because we can't actually prove that. But it coming from one of the suspect's mouths, I think that's all the real proof you really need. What needs to happen is TBI needs to arrest Don and Candace on suspicion and then get them and take them in different rooms because they've always been together. Take them in different rooms and then start interrogating good cop, bad cop, things like that. Then one's going to break. One will break. And Don's going to blame Candace and then Candace is going to blame Don. Simple as that. Then you know you've got one or two liars right there. Take both of them. But anyways, keep going with the, the, this gets interesting. I remember this. Watch what she does. This gets very interesting. What have you taken? Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> okay. No fucking thing. It's fucking cold okay. out here. Okay. Why'd you, why, 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 why are you on the river somewhere? 
How did I know you, by the way? Who the fuck cares? I can hear it in the background. <laughs> who cares, why, by the way? Well, just listen. Uh, listen. Oh, did me. you go? Did you go? Did you go to court Friday? Oh, I, I have not went to court yet. Court has not come okay. upon me. Okay, I thought you were supposed to win. I didn't. Mm. But anyway, uh, oh, my God, yeah. Well, uh, I go lay down. Well, go lay down. Get you some rest. You. Okay, this is not Candace hungover. This is not Candace that's constipated. This is totally different. We've seen Candace over the years, and we know she is a professional drunk, okay? We know she slurs her words. She says things, but uh-uh. This is not hungover. This is not too much to drink. I hate when people just discount it and say, oh, Candace is just drunk. So where exactly is this water? That's the million-dollar question. Okay. That's the million-dollar question. I know that she said there's a tree where she always props her stuff at, and she always goes to that tree. And I don't even think many people know where it's at at all. I think it's just something she picked up over the years where she does, you know, she, she does like to go fishing. She does. But instead of fishing, she would sit and talk to me all that time. She wouldn't fish it. That's why I said that water was so close, but it was so far away as well. Like she was close to the bank and you could hear the water. So that told me during the time some of the water would come in. It's a big body. It's a big body of water. It has to be. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that she would have panic attacks and I believe that she would, she did try to kill herself a couple times. Mm. Can you imagine what this woman's going through? She knows that her man just killed her daughter. Seriously. She knows that. She's holding that in. And, and I couldn't believe why other people could not see that. She was losing it. She was literally losing it. That, uh, that you hear, that is real. People wanted, a couple of people want to know how you got involved. Okay, so there was an old lady and an old, old, uh, old man that had a bunch of files. And he said that the law enforcement, had, uh, we didn't know nothing about the case, guys. The day summer, the day summer went missing. We was filming our first predator bust, our first child predator bust over in the Newport Park. So an hour away, during that time when I was talking to Department of Homeland Security and uh, uh, the sheriff, uh, the sheriff's office, I had on on my phone that uh, Amber Alert was coming across my phone, and I was looking at it. And I was like, "Look at this! Check this out, guys! This ain't that far from us." And that was before we even done the predator bust. We was actually uh, talking to the the sheriff the sheriff department about Michael uh, oh my God Michael Whitaker who worked for the sheriff department who was the link to the home the homeland security we was talking with him and uh, he was saying well you guys go get this guy and we'll we'll be ready for it. during this time Summer Wells thing just kept going rent 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 you know there was like two or three different ones of them mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, we looked into it, we but we never really uh, associated ourselves in with it and didn't get into it until those people, a month and a half, two months later, it came to us, and they said, "Look, you know, here's the files. Here's the." They gave us a big old packet of maps, everything. I mean, I didn't even know what we was getting into, and of course, we jumped into it. I contacted Don Wells, and Don Wells had uh, agreed to an interview. He had heard about us, but he didn't know who we were. So, uh, with that being said, Cher had canceled the interview. That's when Cher was his, uh, his money maker, or, or that was when she was making all the money, and she was uh, pretty much Don's uh, go-to person. So, Cher had canceled the interview. Well, hell, I'd already said no, because it's that day. We was just going to drive down there. I didn't even know where he lived at. I mean, we had a Hummer, and we had all the gear. We had everything with us. We had the whole team of Predator Hunter Nation. And we was going to do that interview, hell or high water. That's the way it was with me. Uh, you know, I didn't give a damn about anything else. I cared about that damn interview. And when I jumped into it, you know, I jumped into it too soon. And all we cared about was, uh, you know, finding summer. That's all we cared about. And, of course, Benny Keys, that night, that night or the next night, had contacted me because I thought he was just a radio guy. You know, all I was was a private investigator at that time. That was it. I was a real life private investigator and I was licensed in 10 different states. I worked for ASI. Benny Keys had contacted me. He said, yes, sir. You know, he was doing his proper lawyer talk like he always does to try to get in. And then he goes to a slang. But he was being real nice and professional and all that. And I was like, okay, cool. He's like, yeah, I got a big show and I want you here and I want to interview. And then all that, that's when it all happened. Okay, quick question, because I remember when you took the pizza, you didn't go inside. You had to leave it on top of the car. So when were you inside the house? No, Candace had actually passed out. Uh, you could see through the windows. You could see through the windows. The windows were clear. 
little block squares you could see through the window of her door. And that's how you could see how messy it was inside. I mean, you could just look through and you get a, you got a vision of everything. You could see condom wrappers and con like actual condoms. It was condoms like four foot from the door, like literally like four foot from the freaking door. There was another thing thrown over the table and Candace had fell across the table, passed out. And you could see her feet, but you couldn't see the rest of her. And I was knocking on the door and, I, and you can hear me in the life i see her feet or I, or I see some part of her that's what i said and um but she never would open the door so we left the pizza on top of the car whatever happened happened with the pizza then we went and then uh lisa and i we went and bought dog food cat food houses for the cats uh dog dog supplies we spent like a hundred and i want to say it's like a hundred and thirty dollars 135 dollars in walmart and we took it over to uh we took it over to them and everything. So there was a live about it. There's actually a live about it. Do you remember the police when I was up there? They got a flat tire and I scared the sheriff's department to death when I walked up on them because they didn't hear me. Mm, I don't remember that part now. Benny Keys had called the police. Uh, hell, he called the SWAT team, I believe. I don't know. Okay. He was on his live calling the police. Or is it? Go ahead. Real Rock and Robin said she saw that when all that went down. Yeah. I didn't. Okay, that's you yelling at Candace saying you don't give a shit about your daughter. Candace goes, I do give a shit about my daughter. And then Kathy gets mad that she's on the phone. Do you remember this night? Yeah, she got she got mad because she said, who are you talking to? And she said, it's Ernie. And she <laughs> said, no. And then she comes through her and she says, F you, Ernie. <laughs> it's, and she's like, oh, I'll just be a minute. I'll just be a minute. No, you. she, she didn't want her talking to me. I don't give a shit about your daughter. Well, I do give a shit about my daughter. It's the fucking Ernie. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Kathy, the friend, Kathy, the Christian is just yelling, F you, Ernie, F you, Ernie, F you, Ernie, after you say to Candace, you don't care about your daughter. Stop yeah, exactly. Please just stop going. But I feel like you played me, though. How'd I play you? I didn't do. Did I get anything from you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't say that. That's not what I said. How did I play you? Okay, now listen to her voice. The thick tongue. The uh, 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 you know almost sounds like Jody Sue a little bit. Okay, according to Kathy, the friend, Candace didn't have a drop of liquor the whole time they were together. This is our Camp Camp drunk. But, well, because I feel like every time we talk, which should be personal talk, it goes out on the internet. Ernie, I'm telling you right now, quit fucking with her. Uh, she called me. She called me. Oh, if she called you, that's only because, like, you know, she's pissed that everybody keeps on fucking doing what the fuck they're doing. They're like, like, making that fucking bullshit. And, and it's bullshit, man. And the week before is when Candace and Kathy went live with that Amazon wish list, which oh, yeah. everyone thought was for Candace and Benny. But it was for the two of them to have their summer of love. Well, if, if you listen to the first of it, I'm wanting Candace to admit by that time, TBI had already knowed everything they needed to knew, uh, you know, know about it. <clears throat> they already knew everything. I'd already turned everything in, what she said, what had happened, all that. After this is when all hell really breaks loose. But listen, if you look in the front of it, when she's starting to talk, she stutters a couple of different times and she don't know exactly what to say. When she's saying, this is hard on me, she's pretty much giving it away right there. She's giving it away. That's why Kathy's standing right beside of her. And then that's when she has to, both of them are, are, are throwing the subject off is what they're doing. Because if you look at me, I'm hitting them with open-ended questions. Every question I'm asking is bam, bam, bam. Like when she says, you don't think I care about my daughter? Notice, there was no response from me. The fact of the matter is, 
I hit her with open-ended questions so she would break. And she did. She did. Every week there was a new character. There was a new there was a new character. Every single freaking week a new character was introduced, right? Oh yeah, all the time and that's why the DA said this. I mean, listen to what the DA said. This is important. This is a very complicated issue um, that has been made more complicated by the, the the players in this drama. That's that's the prosecuting attorney of Hawkins County saying by the players in this drama, and Kathy is one of them. Let me tie let me tie it together real fast for you because I've got a lot of things. I've I've got I've got to get to the doctor in New York City. I've got I've got a lot of driving to do. I've got about nine and a half hours. But listen, okay. let me just say this to the people. She was hurt in the swimming pool. Or in, not swimming pool, but the swimming hole. Okay. She had got hurt. They rushed her home. She was knocked in the head. The pillow was placed on her head and she was suffocated. That's why, you know, in one of the interviews, uh Candace missed about the suffocation. She said, I'm suffocated, remember? Yep. That's why Benny Keys had to have the pillow and the shoe and all that stuff that he took with him. Now, here's the thing. It was on the mat. It was actually the mattress was used and they need to find whatever happened with the mattress. I think it was all thrown out afterwards and all that. That's 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 the whole thing about it. If you listen, Don is the one that comes through the back door when he says on the interview, he paints a picture. He says, whatever predator come through that back door. Well, I thought Summer just wandered off. So that killed that theory. When Don told me they had to come up with a timeline and they had eight different timelines that they had come up with. Listen, you don't just come up with a timeline. You remember exactly what happened. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not allowed just to come up with a timeline. You, you can't do that. Right. You know, they had all this time to come up with that. The thing about it is Don thought he's going to get blamed for her head injury that she'd hurt herself in the water. He knew CPS was coming the next day and he had to make a, a rational decision. And he did. That's the fact. Okay, That's let's, a fact. Yes, let's, it can't be both she was smothered and both the hammer. Because we know Candace has spun a lot of stuff. No, she was hitting the head with a hammer and then where she was, the scream that they heard, the faint scream, he put the pillar over her head and he smothered her. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. That's Candace's exact words to me. And that makes perfect sense. Benny Keys had to have the pillow. Benny Keys had to have the shoe out in the yard. Well, and let's talk about the timeline. I knew I was right the whole time in this when I told everybody what was going on. But here's the fact of the matter is, I have PTSD myself from my brother and what he done and him a serial killer. I have that. I can't help that. So sometimes, you know, things happen that shouldn't happen. So I can't control that. This case broke me so bad. This hurt me so bad that I, I had to get off of it. I had to get off of it. We had all these people coming at us. We were stalked. Benny Keys were throwing everything he had at us. Let's take a deep breath because this is not about Benny. This is about Summer. But so, it ties in. It ties in of the money situation and okay. all the money. That's the aftermath. Okay, so June 14th, Don said to two separate news stations, June 14th, CPS came to the house and this was about BB guns. All right. Then he tells Clyda Trent that they want to do a physical on summer on the 16th. He also fires Dudley on the 14th and Dudley said he wasn't acting like himself. He was looking at his phone and looked a little um, melancholy, I guess you can say. So he tells Clyda Trent that CPS is coming back on Wednesday. Then lo and behold, summer goes missing on Tuesday. Ernie knows he's lying. He's lying. He did everything he could to try to to run a narrative on Don and Candace. He did everything he could. I don't know why he's being so defensive. That's all he can talk knows about. What he's doing is not right. He knows it's a lie. He knows it's not true. But yet he's doing it. And he doesn't even know who he's hurting. He doesn't even care that he's hurting people. Miss Daisy, find a live where Candace said BK kicked her in the chest or punched her in the chest and took Summer. Do you have that? I've never heard Can I've never heard her say that. Never. Candace has never said that candace has never said that about bk ever that i know i have never heard candace say that the dogs got the pizza it scratched candace's car up because he left it on the car and the car the dogs jumped up on the car and got the pizza someone might have said that but candace never said it i've never heard candace say that let's see it was said daisy she did say it live i swear i well, if y'all can find that, then you need to y'all need to show proof because I've never heard her say anything like that. Have you ever heard somebody undercover what they do? Okay, let me see if I can find them. 
Have you ever I, heard of what undercover people do? Did you know it's not illegal to go undercover on your own? You do know that, right? Huh? And grab oh. off information, grab off all the information and wait for the right agencies to get in play and then turn it into them, right? Okay, Ernie. What's that got right? to do with the price of beans at the commissary? <laughs> well, that's got to do with a lot. And you're getting ready to find oh, out. Oh, it does not, Ernie. How much money have you made off Summer Wells? And Ernie always makes the claims that he never made any money off Summer Wells. Well, I've got and, a video sent to me today and, and um, because I never recorded any of that crap when he was when he was spewing that because I wouldn't watch. But um, with, with his cash app up, the whole time he's talking about Summer Wells. And his first couple months on YouTube, he was monetized. Um, and well, within the first couple months. And then he lost his monetization before he actually got it. Well, he built his whole channel and his monetization on Summer Wells. And I think it was eight or $9,000 that he lost when he lost his monetization. So how are you saying you didn't never make any money off Summer Wells? I got some interesting stuff here. So let's just start showing some receipts. All right. Put a one in the chat. If you have ever heard Ernie Shell say that he has not collected money while talking about Summer Wells, he has not collected money on her name. He takes down his cash app and his PayPal when he's talking about Summer Wells. Put a one in the chat if you've heard that. All right, so we got some ones in the chat. All right, I love ones in the chat. All right, so we're going to bring them up. He's uh, always done it. He's been doing it from day one. Yeah. Um, he's lying, saying that he doesn't do it. But, you know, of course, we're going to show you the truth. Right there, you can see on the right-hand side, right over here, Real Ernie Shell. That's a cash app. Over here, Real Ernie Shell at Gmail. That's his PayPal. Okay? Now watch. And it would say, oh, it's one of the safest places. Tennessee is up there. Did you know that Tennessee was ranked as number one at one time as being the safest? But here's the thing about it. Half the shit was never reported. If the shit's never reported of it, it reported, you're not going to know shit anyway. So it's all there. So there. You got it. Now. Do you know how hard it is to actually find the missing kids that are actually missing when you go to the search? What kids are missing and stuff so you can actually do a story on them? You can't even find them? There's just no, no like, major data out there that's, like, for every state that's got all the missing kids by age or anything. There's just nothing out there you can find. It's very hard. The main giveaway from any person that's guilty, and I was going to be straight up with you, is when people had to put other people's names in sentences. But there was no way in hell that they would ever be a part of it. Kind of like what Shelby does to me. Kind of like what Don Wells does to me. There's a reason they do that. All right. So here's Cash App, PayPal, right there on the screen. Let's jump into this video. So, so, why, why, so, why, so why is he still on for I mean, he's always been on me because I refuse to fucking talk to him and play with him since he came into the picture last year when we were all still living in Ben Hill. He can't get shit from me because he sucks and he knows it. And eh, you know the whole drill, Ernie. It's the whole gear plus of this shit. Do you know who's on panel? Sounds like Jody Sue. Yep, that's Jody Sue Brown. What case is she affiliated with? Summer Wells. It's the only reason she's known. You're shitting me. Mm, yep. So he's talking about Summer Wells in this video. It's 11 minutes, by the way. With his PayPal and his cash app up? Shut the front door. Are you shitting me? I don't know if I can handle this information. Let's skip to the next one. That's a steel photo. Another steel photo. Lori! Laura! Y'all, Ernie is working. Be respectful and listen. Now, of course, we know what he's talking about. Some whales. PayPal and Cash App up. Right there on the screen. Okay. okay. Here's, here's another video. Jody Sue again, I believe. But here's the thing, Ernie. If you pull up to the basement door, even in like the full sun spot he had, like you really couldn't tell it downstairs. You couldn't really come here to Grandis's campus, just the way, you know, the insulation, the layout, this and other. Uh, you can pull up the top of the house all the way up and around, you know, to the little porch area and all that. And the glass. Yep. So there's another one. I know. Not much. I'm not much. By taking up for their parents, yes. I'm You've lost it by taking up their parents. And that should tell you something. The majority of the people, the people, not your people, Daisy, and not Jimbo's people, not Nicolina's people, but the people, Behind the you. great people, the patriots, the people who give a damn about the child that's missing, right? And I give a damn about their parents too, uh, Ernie. I don't use them and trick them and make them. Uh, I don't use them. And no, trick you them get you get groomed. You get groomed by the predator and you get fooled and manipulated into the, your best friends, right? Did he put his arm around your back too? The can do that. Did she put her head on your shoulder, Daisy, as you on that four-wheeler when you were showing those cows and those bells that ring? Did you show her how the bells ring? I mean, you do it every time I've you get a cash cow. How many times? How, 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 how much you make one live with Candace? I know. I know. Let me finish. Candace has been to my house several times. Never once did I take a picture. I think one time when she stayed all night, we did a live stream, and that was Candace's idea. But also, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. so let me ask you a question. If I didn't know, why did Candace do a live for saying that Predator Hunter Nation busted the door down and took Don Wells out? Why did they do that? They arrested him, right? Did when did she do that? Uh, she didn't do that. She didn't. She wasn't saying storm the Capitol. They took Don. They took Don. She didn't do that. Are you sure? I'm sure. I think you need to do your homework, Daisy. Before you talk to me, I think you need to put your big panties on and do your homework first. Because I have it all. I have it all. You have nothing and you've you proved nothing. You, you have proved you that you, you have proved that tonight that you'll wire your knees out on one side of the bed. We working on the other side? Because that's what I think we're doing. 
Now you show me where she didn't say that. Why would she bring Predator Hunter Nation into it? Why would she bring my name into it? For Candace it? hasn't because... been online for almost a half a year. The only time she's ever come on was a couple weeks ago, and that was to talk about Allie. Candace has not been on. Well, she has done some live streams when she's been out doing. Nathan, you're her daughter. I can't hear you. She she don't go online and talk about shit like that. Come on, Ernie. She don't care about Predator. You don't Hunter even Nation. know who Predator Hunter Nation is, nor does no. she care. Would you bet your channel? Would you bet your channel? I would bet my channel on it, Ernie. You will. I know you will. I to her you'll bet your channel. You'll bet your channel, and you'll open your cash apps to the yeah. times that you went live, and you'll also bet that as well, right? I mean, you're, you're a Christian, right? Yes. You, you you love right. Jesus. You you worship. Okay, okay, okay. That's all I want to know. No, 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 no. No, you. I've heard you, and I've heard you. I've sat in the bushes and let that, and we sat there, and we got all the documentation on you. It was just the right time, right now, to bust you, Daisy, and everything in your lives. Now you tell me that Candace didn't say Freddie the Hunter Nation broke in and took Don hostage. Tell me that, because I'm gonna bust your ass here. I'll actually let Brooks do it for you. We'll play the video. I'll play the video. Pina Zander, if you got that video, I appreciate it, man. If you can hit me up with that, we will have it for the next live. What's going on, Candace? They just took Donnie away. Who did? The police. They did? How come? I don't know. They wouldn't tell me the reason why. But they, they're flying about to Boston, Massachusetts. They're flying him off to Boston? Yeah. Really? Oh my gosh, Candace. You don't, they, didn't, they didn't tell you why? No. Okay. So what they do? They just knocked on the door and came in and cuffed him and took him? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry, Candace. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I, I, wish, I wish they would have told you the reason why. They didn't tell me anything. They just said they had to take him. Because it's all that Jenny's head again. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, Candace, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry, Candace. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, honey. I just, I feel so bad for you. I wish I was there. I wish I could hold you, Candace. <laughs> He's never given me the kids as long, ever. He's always been the greatest father. Right? Um. <laughs> oh my gosh, Candace, I'm so sorry. Gosh. Um... <laughs> Um, they, so, so you don't think that they're just going to take him for maybe a couple of days and release him? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Hmm. Hmm. Well, then, what was Jenny and her friends did. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know, Candace. I don't know. You know, they might just take him maybe for a couple of hours. Maybe they're just taking him to, to question him or something. You know what I mean? But, why would they take him all the way to Boston? What? But why would they take him all the way to Boston? This is the question, you I don't, I don't know. Boston? I don't know. I don't, he don't have any ties in Boston that I know of, right? Not a, not a <laughs> yeah, Not that I know of, just, I mean, the only places he's ever been is, is like... <sighs> Federal. That's all I know. Federal. Federal? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Candace. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I know. I don't know what he knows. Oh my gosh. I know. When's your mom? Is your mom coming back? No. She's not? She's from, from the Capitol. That's all I know. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Wow. That is just crazy, Candace. That is <laughs> crazy. Wow. I'm just, I'm really sorry to hear that, Candace. <laughs> God. I just, I can't believe that they didn't. <laughs> I don't know, but they didn't say something to you. You know what I mean? I just, and then, and then, so they said that they were going to take him to Boston. Are you, are you sure they didn't say Utah? Over the Mexican mafia. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> so do you know anything about that? No, I don't know anything. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Well, did, did Donnie ever come into some money that you knew about or anything? Some about $80,000. I don't know. <laughs> wow my goodness yeah that's just that's just really crazy Cam. wow yeah that's crazy Candace I just I, I don't understand what's going on because if they're going to extradite him to Boston I god I just don't know why they would do that you know that's, hmm Wow, yeah. They're going to kill him. Huh? They're going to kill him. They're going to hurt him. The drug cartel, is that what you said? They're going to kill him? Yeah. They're going to hurt him? Yeah. Well, well, if he's messed up in drugs, Candace, that's not your fault, okay? 
<laughs> that, that's not your fault, Candace. Okay. And there's there's not a lot you can do about that, you know. There's not, you know. I, I mean, you can stand behind him and be there for him, Candace, you know. But if you, uh, uh, stand, stand behind him. yeah. Do do you think he had something to do with Summer's disappearance? In my heart, I don't. In your heart, you don't. No. That's because you love him, Candace. He's your husband. You know. But, you know, it's, I just, gosh, I just don't know, Candace. I mean, I, I hate to, I don't want to say, you know, he had anything to do with it, you know, but you never know, you know, I, I, I love it. The only thing is, when I tell the, uh, the mafia cartel, I tell them, they like, the people. Wow. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And they're mad at him. They're very mad at him. No, he said, when I tell them, uh, the mafia, they know that they're mad at him. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's just great. I don't know, Candace. I just that's just great. I just I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm really sorry. I, I feel really bad for you, Candace. <laughs> so, so your mom don't your mom don't plan on coming back, huh? No. Oh my god. It's just great. Oh my goodness sakes. That's so great. I guess, I guess, I guess, I don't know somebody working with him, you know, you know, and say, 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 what's it called? All the Mexican mafia, you know, you know, they ask him. To be honest, I mean, I'm not going to waste my time with the 350, 400 people in chat who are all Jimbo's and Nicolina's people and who are all pedophile sense and rapist sense and all that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste my time with a fake ass Christian sitting up here in a corner who's getting ready to bust her knees and thank God and do all this. Which God are you, which God are you praying to? Because that tells me something right there. You sitting there, Don, not a criminal. Don didn't do this. Don didn't do that. I'll have his public record out there, the real one here soon. The charges does not have. Since you know what I'm I, I don't know. I know we don't have pedophilia on there. Exactly. That pedophilia? That 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 that, I mean, like, is that a charge? Is it a pedophilia? Ernie. Is that an actual charge and conviction? No, it's it's and kind of I another know, name. What? I have never heard. No, of no, no, no. You say you know, and you and you and you vouch that you know, but something tells me that you don't know, Daisy. So, Ernie. can someone send me uh, Don Wells right now? Allie Bryan, can you go ahead and pull a full background, an ACR and an FCRA on Don Wells right now? Can you do, can you do that, please? Don Wells or any kind of SA. Let's let's look at his charges and see what he does have. Hold on, it's gonna take a minute. Okay, keep continue on. Where's Candace at? Where's Candace? I ain't telling you where Candace is. You ain't going it's to not, it's, it's, it's nine thirty. It's not. It's past nine thirty. Yeah, Surely she's home. She's, she's ready to defend what I said. She's ready she, to defend what I said, right? She she's ready to defend what I said. I can't believe you're hurting her like this. That, that's what I. Yeah, we all know what I Don's charges is. I know that he's not got no SA charges on that. I know he don't, Ernie. And you know he would never, ever hurt. That's one thing I can say about Don is he is devastated, absolutely devastated over Summer being gone. I guess that's why he can say. I guess that's why he can say he's been there. He's been in them exact places where he knows that children are being trafficked, and he didn't do nothing about it. Right? Turn your man card in, Don. He told me when he was young in California, and he told the rest of the world that that he really, really, really. Well, on, 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 on my interview, he told me something way different. Where's it at? You have the interview. Uh, Brooks is going to be playing it. You'll get to watch it here soon. Of course, Brooks is going to be playing it. How much did she pay you? She paid you, ain't she? Of course, Drama Queen's going to be playing it. No, I don't get paid for what I do with missing children. Sorry. Alrighty. That's BS because you put your cash app out plenty of times. Plenty of Show times. Me. With your receipts. You, you're sitting here running oh, your mouth and I see no receipts. I see no receipts. I see no receipts whatsoever. I'm going to be going back on all of your live streams because I streamed them. Go ahead. They're still doing it right now. They're trying to do it right now, as a matter of fact. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. What right. do I always say when I talk about Summer or any other missing child? Everybody knows all the tigers to see the chat. What do I say? We will not put a cash app up. We will not put a PayPal up when we talk about a missing child. That's the first thing I say. Bernie, but go ahead. Up. No, Daisy. I don't have a bell to ring like you when I get a you really want people to believe that if you called the TBI that, that and told them that, that they wouldn't have already arrested Don and Candace? Maybe I'm with the TBI. No, now, you ain't gonna see nobody goes on social media, Ernie. How you know this could be a, a stain? Ernie, come on. No, come man, you on, come on. Ernie. You come on. <laughs> come on, Ernie. What are you doing, Dave? You trying to tickle me with that feather? That non existent feather you got? You nothing. Where's your receipts at? Come on. Where's the Same as yours. Where's yours at? You said you had them all. I will show them. That's what uh, Lady said. Ernie can't handle it. He can't handle the truth. <laughs> Kemper said, you're triggered because you can't get 200, 300 people in your own chat. Only five of them talking. The rest are bush watchers. Nothing. You're nothing. Nobody. Nada. <laughs> now, ladies, you all have a good night. Have I appreciate it. And I want you all to say this. We, the people, will protect the children at all costs. Good night, ladies. Have fun. Hey, 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 white boy. Hey, white boy. Hey, white boy. Hold on a minute, Don. I'll destroy you in a second. Hold on one second. 
I'll just bro, throw you in a second. No, 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 I'm not a meth head, I'm not a meth head. You're a pedo, you're Sim, and you suck Jimbo up. up, that's all you are. Show your text message between Jimbo and you right now, and he messaged you a while ago. Did Jimbo message you a while ago? I had it. Did he message you? Did he message you, you piece of shit? You're a pedo lover. Don Wells admitted he knew where these kids was at. When he admitted that, he said, I know where they're at. I've been there where they're at. Turn your fucking man card in, you piece of shit, you pussy. You big ears, dick with ears, you pussy. That's all you are. You don't give a fuck about these kids. Come on, let's go, bitch. Let you and I go. I'm on my fucking deathbed, motherfucker, and I don't give a fuck. You're a fake ass bitch, boy. And Don Wells, you're a piece of shit, and I'll see you soon, motherfucker. I'll see you soon. a woman saying that you took advantage of her 11 year old girl. Show me fucking receipts, you fucking big ear, dick ear, bitch. Show me receipts, you pussy. Show me receipts. You ain't nothing but a fucking pedo lover, a man who married a fucking 12 year old, fucked 11 year old with 11. I ain't even worth a fucking piece of shit that this motherfucker in the bottom on the fucking phone is worth, who fucking raped his fucking daughter, took showers with her. Did he take showers with her? Hey, big ear, bitch. Did he take a fucking shower with her? He fucking admitted it, you dumb son of a bitch. And you sat down, you let him put his arm around you. Did he bend you over on the fucking couch like he did Benny Keys, you fucking bitch? You pussy. Come and get it, motherfucker. And show you the people. I'm about clarity. Don Wells, come on, motherfucker. Did this big ear bitch sign a fucking NDA? Cause I fucking did, bitch. I told you to stick it up your motherfucking ass and rotate on it, boy. Now you go fuck that, son. Come and get it, boy. Where you at? Oh, I know Jimbo. Hey, Jimbo, I knew you, you pedo. You was about it. Show the text message between you two bitches. Show the text message. Show the people the clarity, you piece of shit. You went and threatened Brooks. You threatened Brooks, dude. You showed a picture of your front and your back and a fucking kitty cat. You did. Why did you do that for? Why did you do that for? You sent fucking messages. We have them. We have them, you big. We have them, pedo. Did you marry a 12 year old and lie about it five different times? Did you talk? You let the worst piece of shit on fucking YouTube catch you, you dumb son of a bitch. inch black dildo or the 12 and a half people, Ernie. And do you wear the cowboy hat? Huh? That just goes to show you, white boy. Turn your fucking man card in, you pussy. You pussy, 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 pussy. That take advantage of people. All you did is exploit Candace in a vulnerable spot when she's drunk. That's why my that's why my live say fucking fundraiser for you, you dumb dick sucker. Mine don't say that, does it? Yours does, bitch. Yours does. You put shit out there on the internet. Well, hey, hey, come face it. Come face it. This motherfucker in the bottom here, Don Well, he plainly said, he plainly said that he knew where these kids was at and he'd been there. Turn your Somebody shut him up. Jimbo, are you here? That dude does nine grams of meth. I'm not gonna lose my voice because he won't shut the fuck up. Ernie. Have a civil conversation. You sitting up here trying to out talk me, it's not gonna work. Is no, is he in chat? Yeah, he's in chat. Oh, don't even address it. Bro, there's a link for a reason. You jump down for a reason, Ernie. Here's here's how it works. Don't even address him in chat. Matter of fact, I'm, the link is still dropped. You you here's how this works. You, you're not gonna jump on pan Ernie, you look really ridiculous. Here's reality. You you as soon as you come up, you start talking a thousand miles an hour and trying to talk over me. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna break down this live that you jumped on that you have no receipts on. I'm gonna do that with or without you, right? But that's on my time. If you would like to come up and and push back on anything that you said, how it works is one adult talks, the other one listens, then they get the floor. If he doesn't hit the link, then I want people to type him out. He either gets to be a man or or he, you're not gonna sit there and, and chat. The fuck is that? He he's on the he jumped down the chat to, to go type. Stop it, Ernie. This is what I'm talking about. I see through that shit. You can you can run game on crime lies, but bro, you're you're literally telling people that Don Wells took a the, the, the backside of a hammer and hit summer and hung the blanket outside. Do you know how many fucking FBI agents and Hawkins County people walked around that man's house? He don't have a mansion, by the way. His property's not that big, by the way. You you either, have, you, you gaslight people, it, this is what you do, you're a scammer, you're a grifter. You need people to believe this lie. Like, like anybody with common sense would have to have this much faith. You'd have to hate our FBI or, or have absolutely zero faith to think they would miss that. Or if they missed it, the Hawkins County multiple times each agency and then other people and then all the youtubers they're not gonna miss it because opportunists like yourself went out there and they're not gonna miss that but you're gonna sit on somebody's live and try to sell that point stop it dude stop it stop um, it right now yeah i don't know if you've got around to the part yet where he um he claims that he went to candace's home with the pizza have you played that yet i haven't even started it but um because i'm arguing with him that there's videos of people he, well, yeah, well we've, seen, we've seen the video of him actually going there. We saw the whole video. Well, yeah, on that I'm, lady's, I'm on that lady's panel today, he told a completely different story. Oh, bro. Listen, he was on, I gave him the benefit of, I gave him the benefit to come up here and, and try to sell his case, right? I felt actually bad for him. I was concerned for his mental health. He sat on my panel and said he didn't steal the van. I literally just put the receipts on of his active warrant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? The, the dude is a pathological liar. Absolutely. You know he can't help himself. And for him to come up here and start saying, um, Don is a predator, this and that. If you type in Ernie Shell's name on YouTube, there's a woman who wants to kill this dude because he fucked around with her like 11 years. How old was that girl? Remember when he gets to the fight? Oh, 10 years old. <clears throat> How old was that girl? 10. 10 years old. That was her mom, right? 
that was her mom. Ernie Ernie contacted the little girl, the 10-year-old, said your mom is a whore. Um, she's white trash. She shouldn't have your custody of you all. Yeah, that's what Ernie did to a 10-year-old. Do you have the video of that lady where I don't know if she's on the jury, if she's testifying, or and she says she says on record in court that she's terrified of Ernie Shell. That I'm making my way through YouTube, I guess. I guess, I guess her, so. you know, every panel in the world. <laughs> I believe I pissed off so many people, it's not even funny. How'd you piss them off? Uh, you have to watch them. Everybody's oh, screaming God. over there, Miss Davey. Oh, God. I'm trying to get the scoop. You're the main guy. So how would you nutshell it? What's the most... The last thing I saw was your, your one with Brooks this morning. And then I've been busy all day. And now I just got back online. So I don't know all the things you told. I, I do know what you said to her about Don Wells and the hammer and the... Um... Well, look, go stream, stream Daisy right now. Stream her. And, and I'll tell you when to back it up and when not. All right. Okay. Let me set it up. Um, You want me to stream her, but I'm going to go back to where you're on it. Wow. Yeah. You're a panel hop and hop, baby. I don't know how you do. What you? What are you taking that you have all this energy? What? Not only did I own Daisy, her sister, I own Jimbo, Thelma, and everyone, white boy, everyone that come up there against me. Oh my God. But I, I guess I don't get, why would you latch onto a child's case? And I mean, clearly we've seen that he talked to Candace. There's videos, but mm -hmm. the things that he said today, the hammer, and that's, uh, he's never uh, said that before. It was a sub grab for Ernie. Yes, that's all it was. I kept getting timed out on her channel. I was getting pissed. I burned up every one of my accounts going in. And what pissed me off was Brooke saying, well, this is just a show. No, this is not a show. This is a child that Ernie, Predator Hunter Nation, and his cult followers have exploited for almost three fucking years on YouTube. Well, I was playing her voice. Yeah, but the whole story about him going to her house and looking There's at There's multiple videos you have not seen of his conversations with her, Don Wells, that he doesn't realize is still out there because we recorded everything. And, he mis and, and, he and misrepresented. And then you should put that out there because I had I did. I tagged you in it today. Okay, I'll have to look at that. I apologize. Um, what I really want to talk about is, um, well, I mean, like I said, Summer Wells and, you yeah. know, the conversations they had. If if he said something that, you know, wasn't true, well, you know, then, you know, that's on him. But I think it's, you know, important to have these conversations. And when you hear Candace Wells herself, and we know she was in love with him. I mean, no, she was, wasn't. No. Was, no, she wasn't. She told me she was. No, you know this woman is so entrenched in alcoholism and drug addiction. She didn't know if she was coming or going. She wasn't in love with Ernie, just like she wasn't in love with Benny Keys. Oh, yeah, this she was all an attention grab from Candace during that time frame. But Absolutely. in the, in the back in the back of all of this, she has a missing daughter that she does not care about, and, and neither does Ernie. And that is what Ernie doesn't have to. It's not his child. I'm going to be quite honest. You're not going to find anyone that comes around the wells that's a good person. Sorry that's to say, true. and that, that is true. why do you think Ernie was trying to hang out? Because yeah. he's not a good person. You guys, and I say you guys as an umbrella term, y'all go for the families that have uh, that are a poor social economic status. They have drug alcohol addiction, and you exploit it. And that's exactly what Ernie does because they are weak. They don't have boundaries. And everything that Ernie did to Candace during that time period was exploitative. And I played the Domino's pizza delivery and everything he told you was a lie. It was a lie. He, he is a liar for hire. Self-admitted, he has said, I'm a liar for hire. I'll say anything for money. Now, I mean, who, who am I exploiting because of their social economics? Anybody that, that covers a case the way this community has, and well, this is this, my, this, don't, this, take this, don't take this the wrong way, let me finish. Y'all, this has been three years, and three years into it, you're bringing up Ernie Shell, who has been debunked by A Balance, Tiffany Marie, Cher, White Boy Lockdown Radio, No Thanks Investigates, Benny Keys, I mean, the list goes on. He has been debunked, and then you bring him up after the three year anniversary, for what? For clicks and views. No matter what I do, guys, I have to understand that I'm fighting something that there's a there's a wall. There's a wall to end. And sometimes you just can't climb over that wall. And I don't like using that word. But the reason I'm showing people today, you know, I'm doing all this stuff, is because I'm gonna solve this Summer Wells case. I already know. Everybody already agrees. I got the closest to it. Admittance and everything. Now that there's a new TBI, yes. people looking into it. Now that the TBI, new people's into it. You know, no matter what people say, you don't think they're going to come to the closest person? Think about it. 
Absolutely. So, I can honestly say. Anyways, what do you think about my military stuff here? I think it's pretty cool, Ernie. I heard you said that you were going to solve the Summer Wells case before you died. Did you say that? Yes, I did. You make a claim like that, motherfucker, you better deliver. He's never delivered. Because I'm going to bring Summer Wells home. You damn sure ain't. I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to bring Summer Wells home. Nope. I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to bring Summer Wells home. Like I said in the beginning. I don't give up. Ernie was wanting to make a big name for himself. <laughs> Ernie's always wanting to be something that he can't be. He's always wanting to be a law or want attention. He's even hollering he was a bounty hunter and everything else. Yeah. You know? Should be with that. Anything you ask him to do, he'd do it. Yeah. Ernie's not too smart. Yeah, Ernie's a super genius. He just, yeah. He's always been, he's always wanting to be something that he can't be. I'm going to do 120%. Okay. I'm going to put 120% into it. Too many so, people. Look at Don and Candace. Look at Don running from me from White Boy. They wouldn't let me talk to Don, would they? Oh, I no. don't know. Like I said, Ernie, I ain't been on. But look at what I did to Jimbo. Me, whatever the fuck how many said. people? How many people seen me destroy Jimbo, Thelma, Daisy, Bovey, and, and uh, White Boy at the same damn time destroyed them? I told Daisy she needs to go hit her knees. Something wrong. She needs prayer in the wrong. I mean, seriously, I destroyed them. And then Jimbo, I asked him a question. Got I got him twice. How many people see me catch Jimbo? Wasn't that funny? I thought that was funny. Ernie's lying, and he knows he's lying. <laughs>